Welcome. We're here today with Chef Mike Gober from the Thunder Falls Buffet at the Seneca Niagara Resort and Casino. Welcome, Chef. How are you doing? Great, Chef. Good. How are you doing today? Can you believe it? Thanksgiving, Thursday it is. Right around and the corner. And you brought one of your friends too, yeah. Absolutely. We're going to end up roasting this turkey in a brown shopping bag. This has been going on probably for 80 years in my family. My mother-in-law started it. When I first met my wife, I couldn't believe that they were going to cook a turkey in a shopping bag. I can't believe it either. <laughs> Absolutely. And then her mother used to do it also. So this has been going on for quite some time. So let's get started. We're starting, we're gonna make the brine first. Okay. So we're starting off with uh, a gallon and a half of water. We have a cup, uh, two cups of salt, two cups of sugar. Brown sugar. Brown okay. sugar. Carrots, two carrots sliced. Three stalks of celery sliced. One large onion sliced. Okay. About a dozen peppercorns, black peppercorns. And then we have some fresh rosemary that we're going to add to this. Yeah. Let's break it up a little bit. And yep. That's it. Yeah. Open up those oils a little bit in the, uh, in the fresh herbs and you can smell them already. So what we want to do is we want to let this set up for probably maybe 12 to 24 hours overnight. So you, you can make this in advance. Just keep it in the fridge? Yes. Absolutely. All right. All right, and through the magic of television, we made, <laughs> you made this brine yesterday, actually. So there's yes, a brine already made. So what is the next step, Chef? The next step is to add, put your turkey into a brining bag. And today I, I'm using just a five-gallon garbage bag. So I'm going to add this turkey to the bag right now. And this is so you don't make a mess when you're doing this. Okay. Go ahead. And then just take your brine. Pour that right over your turkey. So one of the advantages of having the bag there is that the brine really gets into, you know, all the meat of the turkey everywhere. Yes. Mm -hmm. And don't add all your vegetables. Don't strain this out. Okay. So after brining this turkey and putting it in the bag, we're going to put this into the refrigerator overnight. All right. So the turkey got brined overnight. You took it out. You dolloped it dry. What's next, Chef? The next step is to butter up the uh, the bag on the inside. So you're going to take a stick of butter. I already have this one pre-buttered, but you're going to take a stick of butter, soft. You're going to rub this butter through this whole bag, sides, bottom, everywhere. And when you're all done, we can get a picture of this, okay? This is what it's supposed to look like. And this is just a regular shopping, paper shopping bag that you're yes, using, yeah? Yes, right, right. right from the grocery store is where all I got right. this. Oh, okay. Okay, so then all we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to take the turkey, Okay, here. Take some butcher's twine, tie it up. You're good to go. Wow. In the oven. One hour at 450 degrees. And then after one hour, you're going to go an hour and a half at 400 degrees. And then after the hour and a half, you're going to go for one hour at 375 degrees. When this turkey comes out, this turkey will have a nice brown crusted skin all the way around it. Wow, chef, turkey in the paper bag. How's that? In the paper shopping bag. Let's try it out here. Mm. Awesome. Nice, juicy. Got a good skin on it. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Now, our viewers, where can they get that turkey for Thanksgiving? Thunder Falls Buffet. Come down with me, Western New York. <laughs>